my education started at Ventura College when I was, at least my higher education started at Ventura College. I had graduated from high school. I had joined the Navy. I was stationed in Port Wyneme. Uh, I asked where a college was because my parents said going to college was what one should do. I was told that there was a college in Ventura and I j entered Ventura City College. And the rest of my life is history because after all these years, starting at 18 years old, now I'm Chancellor of the Ventura County Community College District. I got out of the Navy in Long Beach and stayed there, graduated from Long Beach City College, went to Cal State LA, uh, started teaching, got a master's at Cal State Long Beach, uh, got a fellowship to UCLA while I was working at Orange Coast College as a, as a dean, and did a, a doctorate at, uh, at UCLA. I was, I think I was about 27 when I became Vice Chancellor of the Coast Community College District. And actually, uh, I had been in charge of strategic planning. And we were planning uh, a third college in the district. We had uh, Orange Coast College, which was the flagship, the original college. We had opened Golden West College, and there was a third college on the drawing boards. And the British Open University had been launched, and we had also started KOCE as a public television station. And I had worked with both of those, and we had a wonderful board of trustees. We had a tremendous administration and great enthusiasm because Orange County was growing. And so the board wanted to start this new college, and I got to be the chairman of the planning team to do that. And we had decided to start a college with no campus because the British Open University had started and it had been kind of a model for education of the future. So we launched Coastline Community College with the largest opening enrollment of any college, community college ever. Uh, we got to start it from a napkin. Actually, we sat down uh, and, and laid out a plan on a napkin and a, vi and, and a vision with the, the then chancellor of the district, Norm Watson, the then business vice chancellor for business affairs, Corey Thompson, and me. So it was a vision. And so we made the vision happen. And I became the founding president, uh, working with a whole group of really wonderful people. Ed Decker, who has passed away, became the dean of instruction. Jack McGill became the Dean of Community Services. John Buller became the Dean of Admissions and Records. David Brownell became the, the Dean of Business Services. And there were many others, some of whom are probably here today. And uh, we launched the college working together. We launched in uh, uh, September of 1976 with 18,500 students. And it was an interesting experience because in May of the year prior to the launch, a reporter had asked me in an interview how, how many students we were going to launch with. And so I sort of made it up. I said about 18,000 students. So that set the bar for us and that became the target. And we really scrambled uh, to pull it all together and we managed to launch with 18,500 students. Uh, it was a college without walls. That was a term that came. And we coined the term, the citizens are the students and the community is the campus. We took over several closed elementary schools to get access to the neighborhoods. And so in the end, we wound up with five elementary schools that had became community centers. So we had community centers, but we also had a basic offering of courses through television, surrounded by other kinds of activities to create the learning system that, that kind of evolved into the online course of today. And the college launched with great enthusiasm with a wonderful staff and, and in, a, in a, just an extraordinary area that was growing quite a bit. So Coastline pioneered a whole host of new initiatives. 
especially the telecourse because it was a premier and the telecourses were replicated all over the country and we've partnered with Miami-Dade College in Florida and Dallas Community College District in Texas, Foothill Community College District in Northern California and we produced these courses together and they were very successful. The telecourse was the forerunner of the online course of today and we believe that learning was portable, pliable, and it can fly through the air, and it did. The community just responded phenomenally to the idea of Coastline, and the newspapers, the magazines, everybody was, uh, it was just, they were just very enthusiastic about it, and, and so were we. And we just had a wonderful group of people at exactly the right time. We had Leisure World in our community and a lot of senior citizens, so we pioneered uh, senior courses and we wound up with literally thousands of seniors in the Emeritus Institute. And the Emeritus Institute was then replicated uh, all over the country. We found uh, a group called High Hopes where there had been traumatically head injured individuals that were having a difficult time being educated. So we raised some money. Frank Sinatra funded uh, a couple of vans that we had and gave us some support. And we started High Hopes. We took a wing of one of the elementary schools and we began to rehabilitate these dramatically head injured young people. And High Hopes became one of the best and most successful uh, rehabilitation centers for educational individuals that had been in various kinds of accidents. KOCE was the public television station in, in Orange County. Uh, we had set it up. I had been chairman of the executive committee, so it reported when we launched Coastline, we divided the airtime because KOCE was a public television station. 50% of the airtime was dedicated to public television station and I was responsible for 50% of the airtime for telecourse. And so we produced courses basically through KOCE, which was the district television station, but we syndicated them through PBS and other stations around the country, so colleges all over the country were using these courses. And they used very highly developed television surrounded by um, telephone calls and faculty members working in carols and mail and all of the other things that existed that we put together prior to the coming of the internet. And I think the, the telecourses over the years have earned 15 or 20 Emmys in various kinds of programs. The first one was, uh, uh, the pr prior to Coastline was Contemporary California Issues, which was a prototype course that we produced. I have, happened to be the executive producer and Paul Cabell was the writer-director and uh, we were fortunate enough to have it being an award-winning documentary series. We wrote a book and a study guide and produced 20 half-hour programs and it was very successful. I was president of eight Coastline for eight years and then uh, following Proposition 13 because of district complexities, I was asked to take over as president of Orange Coast College, which I did. And then in 1984, I went to Washington, D.C. as the executive vice president of the American Association of Community Colleges. I think that I have been uh, active in the community college all of my adult life. I've been dedicated to it. I've done everything I could to be helpful and work with, with others. I truly believe that the community college is America's gift to the world. It's invented in the United States. It's been replicated all over the world. There are more than a thousand community colleges in the United States today. Half of all of the students in higher education are in community colleges. The community college shares a, a wonderful vision and Coastline is the personification of everything anyone wants to know about learning, experience, opportunity, and success. I learn every day. I mean, I, everything that I've done is a result of just continuing to learn, you know. If you don't use it, you lose it.
and that's been my philosophy and it's my philosophy today. Coastline was a magic experience in a special time that embodied extraordinary people that accomplished a phenomenal result. You know, Coastline was a perfect storm. The right people coming together at the right time with the right support, with the right resources to create a, a happening that's a milestone in educational history, really.